Hi everyone, it's terribly exciting. Today I am in Chicago with Nathan and Bryce. Nathan, can you tell us where we are, please? We are along the i &M Canal, or the Illinois and Michigan Canal, um, that was dug in the 1830s and 40s. Bridged the gap between uh, the Chicago River and Lake Michigan, and eventually the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. So it was an important trading route. And we are on the mule path, where, which is uh, where the mules would pull the, uh, the wooden um, barge boats that were used to ship goods um, along this hand-dug canal. I have previously found a pipe bowl here, which I donated to the Lamont Historical Society. And um, I am hoping to find maybe like a Hutchinson bottle or like a stoneware bottle. Those are on my bucket list. Uh, I'd love to find some old bottles today. I love medicine bottles, I like milk bottles, um, anything with embossing, love to find them. Yeah, me too. Well, I'll be happy with anything. It's just brilliant to be here. We've got an absolutely beautiful chorus of birds behind us as well. So um, let's go, let's go and find some history. Yeah, yes. let's do it. <laughs> do they dive bomb you, do they? Yeah, um, they dive bomb you to protect their territory. And I got hit with their beak really hard with this hat on and it hurt like I had no hat on. Oh, so that's why you've got a hat <laughs> yeah, on. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bryce and I not I live so for lucky. danger. <gasps> yes. I'll fight him. I'm not sure, it might be part of a raccoon skull. It looks pretty broken up. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Sure. Oh yeah. Do you think that's raccoon, do you? Yeah, they kind of, they have a much narrower head than you would think. Their fur makes their head look a lot um, larger and rectangular. Mm. Pops out. So people are always surprised. Mm, I'm good. No? <laughs> <laughs> Skull anyone? <laughs> uh, as I said in a previous <laughs> video, I used to collect those, but uh, now that I live with a, a woman type person, I <laughs> retired that. <laughs> Bottle, okay. Bottles only. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave the skull here. So down here there is actually, I've just noticed, a bit of Victorian transfer wear. The willow plate and we find a lot of that on the Thames of course. It's a good sign. This is the bottom of a of a bowl or a cup. And again, it's the, the willow pattern there. Nathan, what have you got? We've got a few pieces of bottle here, uh, but then uh, there's a whole one down here too. Ooh. So this is like a yeah. um, early soda bottle, um, probably one of those weird like 6.2 ounces or something what they used to have before they were standardized. It's got a logo on the bottom that I think is uh, Chicago Bottling Company. Oh, fantastic. Um, and, oh, and there's a yeah, Coke bottle. A Coke I, hope bottle it's, I hope it's whole for you. Let's, Let's see. see if it's whole. Let's see what it's got got on the hey yeah we got a whole coke whole bottle coke. nice one and does apply, it say on the bottom where it was graphic where it was made yeah i think it will what's the town uh, can you make it out can you make it out I see june Ju Juvo. juno juno alaska juno alaska yeah, what's that alaska. one doing here that's oh cool. Gosh, that's that's you know. That's <laughs> traveled away. It sure has. <laughs> what? Maybe I it mean, came on the train. Could have come on the railroad, yeah. I'm not sure what I'll have to figure out what uh year this is. I don't know if it's Sometimes this is a year, on year the hobble skirts there's a little like two uh, numbered date right around this area. I don't know if this one's might be too old, uh, new for that, but yeah, I this know. is not a '70s bottle because the the applied graphic bottles from the '70s were a lot larger. They were like a liter almost. Um, so this is probably like a 60s, something like that. Well nice, done. dude. Hold on to that. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, look, I've just found another, like, oh, the, very nice. the bottom of a, a bowl there, the inside of a cup or a bowl. But that's the willow pattern, the two birds there. Oh, okay. It's the, the tragic tale of two lovers that were turned into birds mm. by their evil uncle, I think. Or it could have been a stepfather. But there's a whole story behind that. It was a very, very popular design so yeah there's some stuff here it's pr if we dug we'd probably be finding things um we're looking on the surface so oh nice it's like an old what would that be like an ink bottle maybe yeah an ink or maybe like a household cleaner or yeah. a shoe polish i don't there's no embossing no. That is there what do you think that is 1900s early 1900s yeah and oh yeah look like the old I don't know if this is a car or a track. Old vehicle. There appears to be a little clown here. 
I should give that to Bryce. Ooh, what you got there? Little Is that clown. A clown? Uh, that's me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep it if you don't want it. No, absolutely. You keep it. I wonder what it's from. Yeah. Also, there's a really nice piece of sort of purple, purpley pottery here. Nicola found this little plastic clown just now, and oh. she associated it with me for some reason. So uh, I get to keep it. Thanks. Uh, I keep saying your name, Mom. Nicola. That's okay. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> well, so you can say Nicola. <laughs> or Nicola. Just not Nicola, right? Uh, harmonica? Oh, yes, yes, that is. Oh, That's yeah. part of a harmonica. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Cool. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a, a bit of pottery with a, a sausage on it. Oh, what do we got there? I think that might be the caveman from Hanna Barbera or something. Ah. <laughs> Not quite as old as we're looking for, but an old car radio. Oh, fantastic! You would have your uh, five presets. You push the button in to, to preset, and it looks like AM radio only. So um, this is probably from like a '50s car. Yeah, that's a real relic, isn't it? Yeah. And here's the car. <laughs> it probably is the car yeah. Here is the car. Here's a much smaller car. Oh. Car. It looks like a, maybe a. Mustang. Oh, that's Bronco nice. That's oh, great. It's funny, it's like right on top of the huge crush car. Nathan's found a metal tag. There's a number and it says <gasps> cook, cook one year. That would probably be Cook County, which is this, the county we're in. Um, so maybe that's a one year pet tag. Oh, that's really cool. There's Bryce emerging from the undergrowth. Hello, <laughs> welcome to my forest. Um, yeah, I found um, a vintage Pepsi. Oh, okay. Uh, it's broken, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure how old this is, but it is a crown mason jar. Ooh. Um, and then my favorite find is <laughs> a little baby head. Oh no. <laughs> We're all going to be cursed. <laughs> We're all going to be cursed today, right? That's right, Bryce. Yeah. <gasps> oh, there's always got to be a baby head in this kind of place. <laughs> oh, uh, are you taking the baby head home? I think I am. I think you have to. I guess I won't put that in my suitcase. Yeah, I won't is get that very actually far. metal? Or? It is, yes. Oh, yeah, I why don't you, like why don't you um, take it? Old cap gun, I mm. think. Huh. It's another skull here. Let's have a look at it. Oh, yeah. You're like the queen of finding skulls today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Join us, Bryce. It's bliss. <laughs> You got another one. Yeah, I think either someone hid these here knowing they'd creep out someone or uh, I have to join them in the forest. <laughs> I'm going to become a doll like one of them. <laughs> oh no. Don't you have a doll head lamp? I do, I do. I've got lots of doll heads actually. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yep, yep. Well, if we, let me know if you want to take any of these with you. Sure, thank <laughs> you. Oh gosh, yes it is. That, oh my goodness, that is, oh my goodness. Look at that bottle stopper. That's lovely, well done. I think I can see some feet, like little feet poking out over here. It might be... Oh, no, it might belong to my doll. It might be... <laughs> That's <laughs> where I found him. Yeah. Or maybe it's a uh, dog. Oh. It's a dog's body. Interesting. Well, you could maybe put the doll's head on it. <laughs> Should we try? Yeah, go on then. Oh. <laughs> yes! I'm a monster! I'm a monster! <laughs> oh, welcome to Chicago, everyone! Bryce, <laughs> you have my head! You have my head! Oh Bryce. no, I think I know what I'm going to call this forest. The, the forest of dolls. This, this lady is holding a letter, I think. Oh yes. Excellent. So you've got two doll arms and you've got two doll heads. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, let's let's see them all together. The forest of dolls.
Yes, very nice. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Bryce, what have you got? I thought it was a little honey pot, but it's actually a little salt shaker designed to look like a honey pot. Oh, home cooking is best. Home cooking is best. <gasps> You've got a swan it on there. Swan. It's broken, unfortunately, oh. but it's just kind of a neat bottle. That is so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. The swan. I'm assuming that was like some kind of perfume bottle. Yeah. Very nice. And I have got down here some little praying hands. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, praying against the doll's heads. Oh no, <laughs> they took my head and threw it in the river. No, I think he's trying to keep the curse of the doll's heads away. <laughs> Maybe. I guess you already picked this up, did you? This, this big jug thing? That's quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Or a posh bollard. <laughs> that is nice. I like the um, the pattern on it. I'm a sucker for these old soda bottles that are like got like these. Oh yeah. Is it's, that hot? Yeah. Is that a Howie one? It's called Howdy. Howdy. Howdy bottle. That's a whole one of the ones I found earlier. Some kind of soda, right? Sixties yeah. or seventies maybe. Yeah. Quite a nice colour, isn't it? Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah? You want some, you want some insulators? Oh, you got an insulator. Okay, I, I've got some. I've got some nice, kind of coloured ones here. They're broken, but oh my goodness, look at those! Oh man, I thought I was going to show you some cool insulators, but look at look at those. Yeah, nice, nice colour, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I might take those. Yes, I'm gonna put them down. They're quite sharp, so they they really <laughs> are sharp. So be careful. But they're oh, there's, this one's still attached to the post. So they're something that people like to collect. Yeah, yeah. There's whole like groups. I found this out from being in Facebook and being recommended different groups, but. There's people who collect like every color, every style, every age every material for these things they are a nice color yeah but those are great so those are huge yeah I got too big for me to take honestly but <laughs> if i could separate one of those plates i might but... yeah yeah Very i think cool. there's another one over here as well oh, yeah. it's got the hemming ray hemming ray oh i'm sorry oh no 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 no, no. is that what it says no no that's fine <laughs> Yeah, it says Heming Ray. Um, it should have the number after oh, it. 42. 42. That, just, that's a very common one, but. Very, very sharp. I love the color of the glass. Mm. Is that going home with you? I think so, yeah. I think I'm gonna take these. Um, we'll see if I have space for them. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a, um, a bunch of these. Uh, most of them are like a little bit broken like these, yeah. but I have a bunch of different styles of these that I found in my apartment on display. Always makes me sad. But I guess they, they usually are broken because they have to, they fall. Yeah, they fall where off. They are. Great. Well, yeah. there's some more for your collection. Oh, you've got one that's almost whole. Ray, yeah, it's just got a couple small chips in it. Got a chip there and a chip there. Yeah, mostly whole. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful color. I just picked this sign up. I really like it. There's just two screws on the back. I bet we could get it off. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Oh, they might be really kind of, oh. yeah, are they really fused, aren't they? Yeah, that it's not, it's not going to be that easy. That's a nice enamel sign. No parking between signs. <laughs> so no one's going to park in the woods here. No. Oh, I'm always looking for little orphans. Always happy to take them in. Oh yes, I think you have. Oh yes, 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 you have. Look, practically fused into the undergrowth. <laughs> oh look. Maybe an ornament. He's got plenty of uh, moss adorning him as well. Stop. Go no further. Well, he he could be a nice little you know souvenir <laughs> from the Chicago doll forest. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got the sweater. Yes. The jumper, the jumper cord. Oh, did I hear a little cry of excitement there, Bryce? Yeah, I found a little aqua glass Yeah, cool. That's you know cool. what you have to do with those when you What's find that? a stopper? You have to do the bottle stopper in the sun shot. Oh, nice. Yes. Classic. It's obligatory. <laughs> That's a nice chunky one. The food jar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll call that a pickle jar or an olive jar. Oh, what's this? Oh, I found a little angel. Oh, that's a sign. Did I overhear you found your guardian angel? I did, uh, yes. Look. Oh, wow. Isn't oh, that, it's like a pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I, I'm wondering whether it's to cover a keyhole or something. I don't know. Or oh, maybe, that could be a two. I don't know. My assumption is it goes on a necklace, but that's that's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Ooh, I just found... Hold on, I just found a cork top medicine bottle. Oh, 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 let's see. Woo! Let's see, is there any writing on it? Does not appear to be, but... No, but... I will keep it. Yeah, keep that one. Oh, the big extraction. The big. It's very satisfying. Uh oh. It's not now. <laughs> it's moving it's a little easily. Yeah, it's moving a little more easily. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, it's whole. Oh, it's whole. Nice. Just small. Old very nice. Jar. Yeah, this. Mm. Is it, uh, Nathan right next to it. <gasps> what's he got? What's he got? Yay! Ooh, Ooh, what's what does that? What say? Uh, Menzen? I wonder what that is. Um, oh yeah, something like Menen. Menen or something, Menin, isn't it? Menen, yeah. The cap looks old. I can't tell. So, what's this then? This... Oh, that's quite nice. It's, um... Hey, it's got a... Oh, it's got a lovely um, a horse and a rider. And it's boot cream. <gasps> oh, that's a really good one. It's, um... Yes. Yeah, boot cream. See that horse and... Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. See that horse and rider there? Oh, I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm that, gonna, the, I'm gonna take that one. I think, mm, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I like we, that. We got the first pictorial of the day. This one's broken, but it's a Heinz honey and almond cream. Honey and almond cream. Yeah. Oh, nice. The Heinz company. Heinz, is that, did you say? Yeah, H-I-N-D-S. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, well, this would have been an old one. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Something Mont, Illinois. It might be Rosemont, Illinois. Can I but see? It looks like some kind of soda. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Wow. Ooh, what's this down here? Let's have a look here. Oh, this is quite nice. I've not seen one like this before. It's quite a nice one. Look, Let's see if I can push my way through the... Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Some kind of uh, apothecary bottle, I think. Yeah. Is that of interest to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll keep this if you don't want it. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm happy to give it to you. Thank you. What does it say? Oh. Cremel? Oh yeah, Cremel. Cremel. Here's a cute one. Is that a Bunte? Bunte? Yeah, it's a candy company. I have a bottle like that. Ah. It says something Chicago on it? Yeah, Bunte Chicago. That was a candy company. Ooh, oh, cool. let's see. Did you say Bunte or? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Bunte or Bunte? Bunte or Bunte? Bunte? From Chicago. Does it say Chicago on there? Yeah, in the yeah. flag right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, excellent. A really nice um, local one. Yeah. So, Bryce, what's your favorite find from today? Uh, honestly, we just found a bunch of cool little medicine bottles. 
Um, but if I had to pick, I'd probably say those baby heads. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, uh, but I thought those were pretty creepy and neat. So. Yeah. Nathan, um, do you have a fave? I think I, the Coke bottle I found, just because it's from Juneau, Alaska, is kind of <laughs> odd. Um, it's probably one of the more modern things that I found today, but um, yeah, that, that was kind of fun. Um, this this Abute, um candy. Uh, That's jar really from nice. Is, is pretty cool yeah. So. Can you give me a photo of that when you've cleaned it oh, up? Sure. That is nice. It's, it's nice the fact that it's got yeah. Chicago on it. And I really love this cream on the bottom it says Cavalier Baltimore and yeah I like that and I like my angel as well yeah do you want to take this one with you um no 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 you found it you keep it well, it's just Chicago I don't want to yeah. take it as a souvenir of Chicago well if you're twisting my arm yeah for sure it's nice and small thin yeah look at thank you everyone thank you very much indeed for watching my video I hope you're well wherever you're watching from in the world this is part one of a series of three videos which relate to my Chicago trip which took place earlier this year in April so it's high time that these videos got out there to you I had a fantastic trip I'd like to say a big thank you to Nathan for inviting me and for arranging some truly magnificent historical and treasure hunting outings. I had such a good time. And thank you too to Bryce for accompanying us on this occasion to the i &M Canal, which um, was started in 1837 and which was completed in 1848. And there's some really fascinating history about the canal out there on the internet if you want to have a look. But before we actually went on our little exploration, we went to visit the Lamont Historical Society Museum where a very nice lady called Susan Donahue explained to us the history of the i &M Canal and also the history of the area, Lamont, where lots of immigrants settled, particularly Irish people, who then helped to build the canal. And indeed, it could be one of those Irish immigrants that dropped the clay pipe which Nathan found and which he then donated to the society. So I'm going to give you a little taste of that museum now and you'll also see that there is a bit of a mystery in this museum which needs to be solved so maybe one of you can help with that. Uh, my name is Susan Donahue. I'm the museum coordinator and I'm on the board of directors of the Historical Society. So uh, welcome to the Lamont Area Historical Society Museum. We start here with the um, fact that you know this was a recruiting station for the Union Army during the Civil War. I find um, bullets like this sometimes yes. on the Thames. So those are bullets that date back to the 1800s. The 1800s. Yeah. This is the INL Canal. So the path that goes along the canal was actually a mule mule path yes. to pull the barges. Correct. Oh, Correct. interesting. Correct. Ah, oh, so there's the canal here in Lamont. Yes. The canal. Um, this is this is where a, a Hutchinson bottle looks like. There, there, there's shorter ones. This is like a longer one. We would love to find one of those. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's on my bucket list. I found I found the the clay pipe bowl. So now, now, now we're on to the uh, under the Hutchinson bottle. Hopefully, <laughs> next. <laughs> I found pieces of them uh, along the canal, so it'd be great to find one. Uh, this is photographic equipment. I found out that uh, what they would do is often when they were taking a photograph, they would have a metal brace that would fit in the back of your neck so you would not be able to move. Because if you move even a little bit, they'd have to start the whole process over oh, again. Oh, yeah. And that was absolute torture, I'm sure. What we find interesting, too, is gentlemen had a place where they could put their hats. Oh yeah, under the seat. Oh, look at that. It's interesting because I see lots of tobacco paraphernalia here, but I don't yes. see any clay pipes. No, no, how about that? <laughs> Nobody has actually donated any. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, I, I actually have, uh, I, I 
walking along the INM Canal, I found a, a clay pipe bowl last oh. last spring. Uh huh. Um, and if you don't have any in the collection here at the museum, I'd love to donate it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take that away from you. That's well, I I would I would be happy to donate it if it, if there's no examples here. Um, I don't know. It's it's probably dates to the era when the canal was dug. So Nathan, you've donated your clay pipe yes. that you found mid nineteenth century, by the looks of it, yeah. to the Lamont Historical Society. Look at yeah. that. And it's the first one you've got in your collection, is it? I would yeah. think so, yes. Very cool. And I'm supposed to ask this question. So, why are there two holes on one side? Two holes in the side of the... Yes, on the sides of the dress. Mm. I don't know. No. Nobody <laughs> does them so far, I don't either. I assume and, uh, it's just a fashion thing, but... It might be a fashion thing. What I, uh, what I thought was interesting when I was reading one of our history books by Sonia Kalik, um, the Indians believed that uh, they would have a, one hole for the, the good spirit to drive the bad spirit out. And I oh. wonder if there's any connection whatsoever to that idea and that. Is it on the other side as well? No. Oh, Just that is, oh, that is interesting then. So I'm sure you can see that it's such a delightful little museum. So if you're ever in the area, do go and visit. And can any of you solve the mystery of the three-hold christening dress? I'm sure it can't be because a baby has three arms. So if any of you can solve the mystery, then please let us know in the comments below. And I'm sure that the Lamont Historical Society Museum would be very grateful. And I would also be very grateful because I'm very, very curious about that. So we were wondering what the, that dress with three, three holes in it was uh, for earlier. I think I found the three <laughs> arms. Oh no. <laughs> now, as you saw, we found some really cool bottles there just next to the i &M canal. And Nathan very kindly gifted me this uh, Bunte jar, which would have held sweets. So Bunte was a, a sweet, company, for want of a better word, which was founded in 1876 by German immigrants. And it was bought by the Williams Company in 1961. And Bunte was responsible for creating the nation's first chocolate covered candy bar. And they made a variety of sugar coated sweets, chocolate covered sweets, and also cough sweets I've discovered because I was searching through the newspaper archives and found some really cool ads which I'm going to show you here. And I also found an interesting article from 1930 which told of the amount of money which the USA spent on confectionery. So thank you very much again Nathan for gifting me this jar. It's so nice to have a piece of local history as a souvenir of my visit to Chicago. And then we have here the little jar which I found, which is Cavalier Boot Cream made in Baltimore. And I just love the fact that it's got a little horse and rider on the side. And I have found a picture on the good old internet of what the lid would have looked like with a Cavalier on the top. And Cavalier Boot Cream was founded in 1913. And I've also found some vintage ads for Cavalier Boot Cream. And there are a few which I particularly like. Help Pop keep his shoes cleaned, shined and orderly. And in 1945, there's another one here. Build up your shoe leather by using Cavalier Boot Cream. And you'll have seen that Bryce and Nathan also found some really cool bottles, including the Pepsi bottle from Juneau, Alaska. And you know, it made me laugh because when there was the exclamation of Juneau, Alaska, it really reminded me of when I was in California and I was looking for Coca-Cola and Pepsi bottles with Bottle Ned. Um, I can't remember where this particular bottle was from, but the exclamation was very similar. So I'm going to play the two to you now and um, maybe you'll get a little giggle like I did. Juno, Juno, Alaska. Juno, Alaska, Gina, what's that Alaska. one doing here? Oh, this one's uh, 
St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis. Yeah. It says Idaho on it. Yeah. What? Do you recognize that? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I love seeing people get excited about bottles like that. It's just so, so fun to watch back these, uh, these moments. And there were some eccentric finds, like the doll's heads. There's something so spooky about doll's heads. What is it that makes a doll head so spooky? And why do we find the heads and the limbs separately? And it's quite rare to actually find the whole doll. It's the same over here when we're bottle digging in the UK. You often come across these doll heads all on their own. And there's something just a little bit um, unnerving about them. So... Bryce has a TikTok account and an Instagram account. And he also has a YouTube channel and I'll put the details up here on the screen. So thank you again to Nathan and to Bryce for that uh, wonderful outing. And stay tuned for part two. Part three is a particularly fruitful outing with the Chicago Bottle Diggers who also have a YouTube channel. And we found some amazing bottles, which I can't wait to show you. And thank you so much to all of you for watching this video. Thank you for your comments and your feedback on my previous videos. And thank you to everyone who has donated to my Kofi and to my super thanks. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I also wanted to mention that recently I've heard from some people who are going through a bit of a, a dark time. And I just wanted to say that if you are going through a bit of a difficult patch at the moment, then don't hesitate to just tell us a little bit about it in the comments below. And there are some really lovely people in this community, on this channel, who might be able to cheer you up. I just want you to know that you're not alone. And um, we are here to shine a light in a dark place. I always um, love to think that this community of people who watch my videos are such a kind-hearted, generous lot and uh, sometimes it can be really tough if we're on our own and we're just not feeling very happy and so a kind word and just being able to tell somebody about it can really be so helpful. So if you are going through a bit of a tough moment just know that you're not alone. I am thinking of you and sending you loads of love from here in London. And that goes for all of you. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you again really soon with more adventures in the mud, finding history. And in the meantime, take care, do something that you really enjoy doing in this coming week and see you again very soon. Bye-bye.